Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. So question, do you feel like you're on a journey to greatness by yourself? Like you're doing the work, you're changing some bad habits and you actually, you know, grinding, but you feel like your significant other or maybe your spouse is not on the same page. Or do you feel like you're on this journey alone? If so, this episode is for you. So today we're talking about how to get your spouse on board and get with the program so we can tap into our greatness. Okay guys, so let's get into it. This is conversations that lead to greatness. Keisha Smith. And I'm Lester Smith. And we help you guys tap into your greatness by uploading great episodes on a weekly basis that will educate, motivate, and inspire you to create the life you desire. Mm -hmm. Now today we're talking about getting our significant other or our spouse on board with the program. Like mm -hmm. get with the program, right? Yeah. So we're going to talk about um, sharing different ways that we can help you get your spouse with on the program and then just give you some insight. Okay, guys? Mm -hmm. So let's dive into it. Okay. All right. So first, I, I do want to say this. I want to say, um, I always tell people, work on yourself. So that's the first point I want to make. Mm -hmm. In order for you to... Um, influence anyone you got to create value mm -hmm. and then how you create value is working on yourself becoming a value becoming a person of value yourself and what that means is you just go do the work you go work on what you need to work on you need to go heal whatever you need to educate yourself in whatever you need to do to become that better person that you're seeking do it for yourself no matter if your spouse or your significant other agree or no matter if they are negative about it, no matter what they think, because you know in your heart that it is something positive for your life and for you to change. It's mm. a positive thing. Yeah. Okay? So always remember, bring value. Do what you have to do first. And then <clears throat> as you do that, that significant other or your spouse is going to see the change. And one or two things is going to happen. They're either going to get with the program or they're going to feel like, okay, this is not working. Maybe we're not, you know... We ain't seeing eye to eye. And maybe this ain't the right thing for us. But at least you know. I'm just yeah. saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, guys. <clears throat> go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Yes. Like, share, and subscribe. Yes. Comment also. We want to hear you guys. Uh, you might have a topic that you want us to do or something like that. Mm -hmm. Jump down in the comments and uh, go crazy down in the comments. Yeah. But oh. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm going to go ahead. Go oh, and also, guys, I want to know how many people are married or in a relationship? Because we want to see, um, you know, what type of people is watching our content so we can give you what you desire, give you what you need. Mm -hmm. So put down in the comments or if you're married, if you're single, if you dating, trying to get married, like just drop drop it down in the comments. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry I cut you off. That's all I right. get excited. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You do that quite a bit. Okay. First of all, I'm sorry. I'm working on that. I am working on that. I get excited. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. You got the floor. Okay. What you is, have the what floor. What am I supposed to be saying? I don't know what you're supposed to be saying. What yeah. you mean? Uh, you didn't ask no question? <clears throat> oh, my God. So, you see why I be talking a lot? You see? Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, we're talking about working on yourself first. Okay. Um, I know when we got on this journey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So look, let me bring this up before he. <laughs> no, no, when you're we, not going. You're not going to do my part. Let me do my part. Since you, since you was. But the, my know, voice, so I can't scream. Uh, okay. Since so you, since you said you <clears throat> was, uh, you was talking too much. Let me let me go ahead and talk then. I'm gonna say I was okay. talking too much. Okay. So when when um when we first started this journey, I started alone. Yes. I tried to for us to start, but uh, somebody didn't want to start. Ooh, that's so you know what I said? I don't know who it is. They might be in this room. I don't know. But uh, the, the, that person didn't want to start. So I say, well, I'm going to go ahead and better myself. Mm -hmm. Better myself and, and maybe they'll come along. So I started reading. And it, this all started in 2020. I started reading more books. I started, you know what I'm saying, trying to find out who God was for myself. Uh, just overall trying to get closer to God and also uh, better myself. Because let me, let me say this. We all know how to do better. We just don't do it. Mm. We all know how to do better. Because, okay. just think about this. Think about this. When you know better, you'll do better. Right? So, is there something that you don't know that you need to find out so that way you can do better. Right? Mm. You already know that. Okay? We all know we need to be reading books. 
We need to be uh, working out. We need to be eating better. Uh, we need to be uh, watching out the way we spend our money. Uh, it's so many things that we need to. We know we need to do better in, but we just don't do it. Mm -hmm. We just don't do it. So I decided, hey, well, I'm on. I'm. On, I need to do better. I need to do better. Yeah. I, I, first, I said we need to do better. Mm -hmm. But since you know the mother people wouldn't come on, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I had to work on myself. Yes. So I started on myself. Mm -hmm. I started on myself, and as I was starting on myself, I'm talking about I was taking an abundance of knowledge. Abundance of knowledge. I was reading all kind of books. I was watching all kind of YouTube videos. I'm talking about, if you know anything about YouTube, when you start uh, watching something positive, it's going to keep on sending you those positive videos. If you start watching a bunch of negativity, it's going to start sending you a bunch of negative videos. Yeah. So that's the way YouTube works. In uh, Pretty much any algorithm. Uh, uh, yeah. Instagram and the TikTok, too. They work like that, too. If you start watching a lot of positivity on them algorithms, they're going to send you nothing but positivity. But as I started watching those videos on YouTube or whatnot, I, I started sending those to my wife. I started sending it to him. I sent it to her. She, she didn't watch them. You don't know that. She didn't watch them. No, you didn't. You don't know that. She, she didn't. She didn't. Because cause I would come to her and I asked her, hey, did you watch that video? No, I ain't watched it yet. Not at that time. Uh, no, I ain't watched it yet. I ain't watched it yet. I asked her a week later. No, I, I ain't watched it yet. So what happened was, this is what actually happened. We got on a long ride uh, to, uh, we went to Austin. Mm -hmm. Austin. We went to Austin. And... I started playing some of that content for her because we always said whoever drive, they can listen to what they want to listen to. So as on that long drive, that's what, uh, was two hours from our house, two, like two, two and a half hours. So two, hour, two and a half hours there, two and a half hours back. And I'm listening to that content the whole time. She got to listen to it. She's like, why you ain't send me this content? It was Miles, uh, Miles Monroe. Why you ain't send me this? Why you ain't send me this? I sent you that. I sent you that a year, over a year ago. And as I said that, she's like, ah, you know, I can kind of see the reaction in her face. Like, I need to really get on board with this because this, mm -hmm. this, this sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, this is something I need to get into. You know what I'm saying? But what you got to say about that? Um, yeah, with that. And that's why I say I want to do this topic because I can, I can share in on both sides. You can attest to. You know, yeah, that, and I can yeah. share my experience yeah. because mm -hmm. when you were sending me those things at the time, mm -hmm. I wasn't able to grasp it because I wasn't ready mentally. Okay. That's why I was about um, to say you wasn't ready yet. Yeah, I wasn't mm -hmm. ready for that information. Mm -hmm. So is you sending your spouse and you, you, you know, or your significant other different motivational things or you trying to get them on the same <coughs> page as you and they're not being receptive to it? It, it just maybe they can't, you got to find what works for them mm. or they have to find it. Okay. Yeah. So what he did, even though he was sending me, um, uh, what's the one? Um, Miles Monroe? Nope. Not him. Before Miles Monroe. Nope. The one, the old guy. And uh, that's, uh, Earl one, Nightingale? Yeah. He was sending me Earl Nightingale uh, and the other one. Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill, Bob Proctor. He was sending me those people. And I didn't relate or she, click. She didn't resonate with them because they was white. No. Oh, you racist? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you look at my voice. Stop. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. It was not that. What was it? It was because I didn't resonate with them um, because I was more still in my religion type thing. Okay. I'm, I always been a follower of Christ. Okay. And I always been, you know, God. Yeah. So to get to me get to to get to me tell me something about god like you know what i'm saying so, so, so no, hold on hold on you say you was a follower of christ you really wasn't a follower of christ you was a follower of religion because okay. if you would have been a follower of christ you would have knew that uh you need to get a relationship with god and not in your religion okay yes we Ooh, can say that you like that huh? that one deep, I, I want y'all to, to to think about that but anyway um but when you sent me um miles monroe he's a pastor yeah and to for him to, to be a pastor and have that same mind frame or the same um, mm -hmm. ideology yeah. of Earl Nightingale, Bob Proctor, like what they were saying, it resonated more with me because mm -hmm. that's what I, you know, that's what I learned from basically. Yeah. Um, so you just have to probably send your spouse something that you know that they can grab hold to. Mm -hmm. It might be a certain person that you think, hey man, I think, you know, you, you know, these people down earth, you like down earth people, yeah. huh, check, you know, check out this podcast. Yeah. You know, they down earth, they're yeah. a couple, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, they've been through it versus someone that's you know, they probably won't ever talk to or probably won't ever get their attention. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would say when it came to that. So let me ask you a question. What, yes. what made you resonate with Miles Monroe so much? Um, I just said because he's a pastor. No, and I, I don't think that necessarily had anything to do with it. Oh, uh, yeah, it does. Because you, you heard plenty, plenty of pastors before. But that. it wasn't that. It, it, it was what it he was saying. It wasn't that saying. type of information. It was the, okay, so what it was, yeah. he took... 
He took abundance, prosperity, what the way the world defined it, mm-hmm. and then brought it over to the way God defined mm-hmm. it. So he connected the two, yeah. basically. And it's almost like because I was in religion, it was like, okay, I don't need a lot of money. You know, um, they always tell you be content and all this stuff. Be, you know, be whatever you have, yeah. be okay with it. But he took and it was like, you know, God is an abundant guy. He yeah. wants you to have this. So it's okay for you to be a follower of Christ mm-hmm. and to have wealth and to have this, you know, type of life. Yeah. So that resonated with me more than some one that was I'm not saying Bob Proctor and yeah. all them wasn't yeah. but it just it was just me let me tell you something about my wife that's something I know about my wife what yeah tell me about me sir let me tell you something I know about my wife tell me my wife I remember when, back when we was you know kind of dating not we know in the beginning of our, our marriage I would every time we would have a movie night my wife oh. my wife wanted to watch some, a black movie she don't want to watch no white movie so so when I said that because they were white, I really meant that. I really, I'm being, I'm being honest. We, 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 tra- we transparent here, right? Yeah, we're very yeah, transparent. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. so because they were white, she she didn't really want to listen to him like that. But when I sent her Miles Monroe and he was a pastor and whatnot, I just want you to think about that. I'm thinking about that yeah. now, though. Because like, I sent her Miles Monroe, and, and let me tell you something else about Miles Monroe. Miles Monroe. Want you to get in a relationship with God. Mm-hmm. He don't want you to be in your religion. He'll tell you that. I don't want you to be in that religion, that you know, that Christianity, that 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 Muslim, whatever, whatever kind of a uh, uh, religion you're in. Get in a relationship with God. And, and I think that's what resonated with me, with with, with him the most, with me. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy because when you said that, I, I just had a flashback that a lot of times when it's a culture thing, mm-hmm. basically, yeah. a lot of times we look at people who have an understanding of what we're going through culturally Mm -hmm. to rescue us, to educate us, to, you know, take us to the next level. And that's because that's what we was raised. Hey, culture, we stick together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So anything outside of that, are you against me? Are you trying to, you know, sabotage or something like that? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that that's what I was, I probably was thinking. I don't know. But (laughs) not saying that's what it probably was, but just because we are so closed off to other races and oblivious to the information out there, mm-hmm. we stick kind of stick to what culture say. I understand. So that's I just want to hit that I, up. Yeah. But I also I, I wanted to point that out though, so that yeah, because so, you you may have still so you can put, so it can put it on your mind so you can meditate on it. Mm-hmm. Basically, what I was trying to do, because um, I seen it, I seen it. I'm I'm on the outside looking in. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we can't see ourselves. Yes, we need somebody else to point certain things mm-hmm. out to us. Right, mm-hmm. right, yes, yeah. and that's what um another thing. Like, don't be closed off in your knowledge. Exactly. Do not be that, closed that's off. That's exactly what I was trying to get to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is because yep. we, we, if you are African American, mm-hmm. are a minority. Mm-hmm. We are so far behind in knowledge. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, so we need to learn. Yeah. From others that so far ahead of us, mm-hmm. that know the tricks, that know the game, mm-hmm. that know how to get around things legally. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to go to other cultures, yeah. other races. So don't close yourself off just for to one type of person. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. And I hope whoever's watching us, we're not just targeting blacks. It's for any, like the country, you can take this information and it's for anybody. Mm-hmm. Okay? So don't close yourself off. And, and, and uh, the main, my, uh, the perfect example of that is uh is Donald Trump. So many people are close their mind off to him because they feel like he's racist and all that. But you can still you can learn some things from Donald Trump. You can. As far as business is concerned. You can. You know what I'm saying? But if you got your mind completely closed off to I can't learn nothing from a white man or, or I can't learn nothing person. from a black man or a foolish person or whatnot, mm-hmm. you 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 insane. Yeah, you can learn not to be. Uh, yeah, you can learn not to be a fool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can learn something from a fool. Yeah. Not to be a fool. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, don't don't close your mind off to nobody, especially when you're on a, a journey to greatness and a journey to learn, uh, being better, doing better, and having better. You got to pretty much, you can learn from anybody. Mm-hmm. You really can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, we're uh, another way is to get your spouse on board. Yeah. Um, I would say don't pressure. Oh, yeah. Because. <laughs> and I didn't. I did. <laughs> At first, you did, sir. Yeah, I did in the beginning, but I, did. I, after I seen it wasn't working, I just left and, it alone. Yes, and the reason why I say don't pressure because it's going to draw a bigger wedge between you guys. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like you're, you're, it's like when you was pressuring me, I took it as 
you don't like me for who I am right now. Mm -hmm. I took it as that as an attack. Yeah. Not as a no, you can, like an improvement. Yeah. Not as a love. I mm -hmm. felt attacked yeah. because it was pushed, it was forced down my throat. And I, I'm trying to be like, well, why do I, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to understand. Yeah. You're trying to show, tell me something wrong with me. Yeah. What, what? I don't see nothing wrong with me. So that's why I felt like an attack. Yeah. So don't um, pressure your significant other or your spouse. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, every now and then you might see a quote or read something. You can might just send a text and say, hey, babe, what you think about this? Look at what I was reading. Or look, look what I was, I mean, listen to what I was listening to mm -hmm. today. And don't do it every day. Don't pressure them. Let them come on their own time. Once they see you're changing, once they see you evolving and, you know, you not responding like you used to respond, they're going to figure out what's going on. What, what's, what's up with her? What's up with him? Mm -hmm. And then that's when the change of heart is going to start coming. Yeah. Because now you built yourself up on value. Now you have value that's instilled within yourself. Now you can influence. And this is what I mean. A person never follows someone, like a, ne a person never um, listen to someone who don't have value. Okay, let alone let them influence them to do better or to change a habit or to change the bad and make it good. Let alone to say what you think is good is bad. You need to change that. Who they gonna be like, who you think you are? Who are you? You judging me. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to come with that mind frame and they're not going to receive what you trying to tell them. But you created value in yourself. You got yourself together. You doing the work. You doing everything you trying to make this person do. You doing it for yourself. And when they see that change, they either gonna give it the program, or they gonna slide. Yeah. What do you think? That's what happened. Did it sound? It came out right. That's exactly what happened. It came. What? It. <laughs> That's what happened between me and you. Yeah. I worked. Out, I started working on. I, I tried to, tried to bring her alone in the beginning. She wasn't trying to go. Mm mm. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't like, you know, the, the, the thing about it is, like I said before, we all know how, we, we know we need to do better. Mm -hmm. But we, we don't want to step outside our comfort zone. Yeah. Yeah, we, we comfortable in the comfort zone. It's, it's, it's like being you, you being under the, under the covers in the morning. And, and it's warm under the covers. You know, if you get out from under them covers, it's going to be cold out there. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't necessarily saying outside. I'm saying outside of the... Outside of the bed. Mm -hmm. So you just lay in your bed a little bit longer. And you may lay there till the last minute. And then you finally jump up. By that time, you know what I'm saying, you you, you done forgot about the cold because it's, it's it, you rushing to do this and rushing to do that until it's time to go. That's pretty much the same thing with life. Yeah. You know, you got to step outside that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And as you step out, you're going to grow. And, and and as I was trying to get I was stepping outside of my comfort zone, I was trying to get her to do it, but she didn't want to do it. So I just, I kind of just, you know... Just it kind of stayed to myself, you know, and and and, and when, when we would have arguments or something like that, and I wouldn't respond the way she thought I was supposed to respond. You're like, what's wrong with him? You know, he he ain't biting. He, he ain't biting. I need to. I need some chaos. I, I need some chaos in here. <laughs> now you don't get it from here. You, and you know what she did? You get her chaos. I'll go watch them shows and stuff like that. Ooh, yeah. I did. Yeah. Go Dang, my, you bring that full circle. Yeah. She go watch them shows and and, and, and and what you call it? What you call them shows? You reality. Watching? Reality TV shows. She go watch them reality TV shows so she can get her drama that she needed. You and know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't giving it to her. Yeah. It's so crazy how you connected that mm -hmm. because I was raised in <coughs> I wouldn't say just chaos drama drama like yeah. beating and shooting bang bang pow pow, yeah. but I was raised to be on edge. I was raised like you come you gonna get, get cussed out in a minute. You can yeah. go zero to hundred in a minute. Yeah. Out of nowhere. That was my household. That was that's my family, right? So because that was something that was set in my paradigm, it always like I always say what you um what is it? What you instill into yourself, that's what you crave. Yeah. Like whatever is inside your heart, you crave it. Mm. Like that's why I say purify my heart, Lord. Yeah. Because it's in your heart and your body and your flesh, it's all one. It's going to crave that. Yeah. So I crave that negative energy. I crave that, hey, I need some, it's too peaceful around here. Mm -hmm. I didn't know peace. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And, so, and, I, and I was all about that peace and she wasn't getting that peace. Yeah, and you <laughs> always been about peace from the first, yeah. the beginning of our relationship. Oh, yeah. oh, always. Uh, man, give me a high five on that. <laughs> Give me, hey man, you growing, man. man. Hey, no, 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 hey, you grow, hey, she growing, she don't seeped that. Hey, she seeped it. Don't do that. Yeah. She, but you never, you never actually said that out loud. Though. Oh, okay. But you, but uh, I guess with you, you know, meditating and, and stuff like that, now you see it. Yes. You meditated on it and said, well, no, that I can't, I can't be like that. 
If I want, cause, 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 I, cause, you, you already know I've always been a peaceful. Yes, person. you have. I, I always been kind of quiet and this and that, and and then you, you will walk up. I'm talking about you will do some of the craziest stuff, and I praise the Lord. And I'm you like, know, well, why is she doing this? Cause, mm. cause she needed that drama in her life. I needed, cause it was a way of me feeling attention. Yeah, basically, yeah. I needed the attention. You weren't giving me attention. And, Let me and, just and walk up. Something. And that's when we had our most problems. Yes. Yeah. Indeed. Ooh, so. That's crazy. What I was talking about, how we I, even got I, You know the crazy part about these, <laughs> these episodes that we make? We're actually, we're healing while we do these episodes. Mm-hmm. And what do I mean by that? We're healing because we can go back and say, well, this is where I went wrong. Or, this is where you went wrong. Or, this is where we went wrong and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And, and, and we're doing that in front of the camera. Yeah. So it's, it, this is not just helping you guys. It's helping us too. Yes. Because we're healing in mm-hmm. the process. In the process. Oh, man. That's crazy. Yes. So, I just had that that that, that uh, you yeah. know that revelation. revelation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So guys, if your spouse or your significant other is not on board, listen. Just you focus on you. Do the work. Yeah. And this is what I mean when I say you focus on you, especially if you're in a marriage. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying you focus on you to the point where you be selfish. Yeah. And you neglect your wifely or your hus- husband duties. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not saying that. Yeah. But what I am saying is you focus on you. You focus on changing self. It's almost like you can't point the finger at somebody else when you have um, three fingers. <laughs> pointed back at you. Is it four? Mm-hmm. Three. 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 Three fingers pointed back on you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm, I mean? Pointed back at you. Yeah. You can't sit there and condemn me on my behavior and I can come back and, and say, hey, well, look at you. Mm-hmm. So it's almost a start of tit for tat thing. Yeah. So what I decided to do, even in our relationship, I'm we, we all known for tit for tat, okay? Yeah. What I decide, okay? I know what it is. I recognize what it is. Let me just work on me. Mm-hmm. I must still do and be who I need to be and, and show up in this marriage when I have to. Mm-hmm. Because that that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Yeah. Okay? I made a covenant to this man under God. So mm-hmm. I'm still going to show up and do and be who I need to be even though he might not be and do what he needs to be. Yeah. I mean do. Mm-hmm. I work on self. I am accountable for myself in changing to better myself and my life and my family. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so all you can do is just hope and pray that your significant other come aboard. Mm-hmm. Now, if this person don't come aboard, if you haven't um, got married yet, guess what? <clears throat> you dodged the bullet. Yeah. Okay, we <laughs> save you a whole lot of heartache and years. Yeah. Time wasted. But if you're significant or if you are married and they're not on board, just give it time. Yeah. I'm not saying, you know, I, that's what I'm glad I said that. That's why in a marriage, we always say date. Remember how we say I always date your significant other, date your spouse? Mm-hmm. Because people we changing in our marriage. Each level, each age, each um, milestone in our life, we're changing. Mm-hmm. We're becoming the person who we set out to become. Yeah. So the person he know right now is not the same person he met. Mm-hmm. Even at in twenty when I was twenty five, thirty, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going how you the net. <laughs> but the same person That is not me no more. So if he would have just closed off to, okay, she just this cabata person and just all the negative aspects and forget what I'm changing, Mm -hmm. we're going to bump heads anyway because I'm like, I'm changing. Like, you don't see this good? You don't see this good thing, (laughs) you? Like, good, good. Okay? Amen. Not in that sense. Let me say this, man. (laughs) God, God designed the marriage, right? He did. He designed the marriage. The man is the head. Yes. Man is the head. So I would recommend that any man, you men that's watching this, I recommend any of y'all to start. Just start. Start mm-hmm. working on yourself first, and she's going to come on. She's going to come along. She can't, let me say this, she can't keep being negative and you being positive mm-hmm. all the time. You you just being positive all the time, and she, she can't keep continuously being negative. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did. I worked on myself, and she came along. Mm-hmm. But God, God, the, the woman is designed to be a helpmate. Mm-hmm. She can either help you and to help catapult you to the next level in your greatness or confine you to complacency. Mm. So choose your wife wisely. Choose. If you, ha- if you haven't choose your wife. Yeah. And the wife that you do have, work on yourself first. And she's going to come on. Yeah. She and if it's on. love there, if the yeah. love is there, she, yeah. he or she is going to come along. Yeah, they're going to come along. Because they love you. Because I loved him. Mm-hmm. And this is the thing. Yeah. When you see your significant other or your spouse changing and mm-hmm. you see the good change in them, yeah. you're going to be like, okay, either I'm going to get with the program or they're going to leave me yeah. and somebody else going to reap the benefits <laughs> of this good. Like, that's what I, I mean, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. 
excuse my voice because it's cracking, okay? Yeah. But that's what I was thinking. I'm like, he changed it for the good. I just spent 10 plus years with this man. I wish I would let another helper reap the benefits of this change, <laughs> this good. Yeah. What? What do Man, look. What? No, so sis, let me go ahead and self-reflect. Let me become aware of what he's been showing me all these years and just own up to, yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. yeah. Now, let me get some more information so I can know, learn how to, like, I can have the tools to change. Yeah. Like, that's the problem. We don't have the tools. We don't seek tools. We seek all this knowledge and just to have, but we're not using the knowledge as tools to help convert us, to help change us, to help us get better, to help us heal. Mm -hmm. We are, we have tools that we're not using. So we have to use them. Don't just sit here and just watch the podcast or watch or read a book. Mm. Whatever tool that they give you, use it in your life. Mm. Use it. Yeah. Any advice, use it as a tool. Work on yourself like a mechanic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that yeah, You know, the thing about it is we're we, we supposed to be getting better every year. Perpetual growth. Perpetual growth. We're supposed to get better every year. And every, every day. If you, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I, I say it every year because you know most people resonate with years versus days or whatnot. Because you're not gonna you're not gonna see the growth in a person in one one day. Yeah. But when you when you when you when that when that year roll by, you'll see a totally different person than what that was last year. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, you you you're supposed to be growing every single day. And as we as we grow older, we're supposed to get wiser. But most people like they're going backwards. They go back, <laughs> <laughs> like, they, like they go back to kids. They when they get certain ages and stuff like that. But we can't do that though. We got to continuously keep growing. <clears throat> and as we keep making these videos and keep reading the books we're reading and, and, and keep watching the YouTube videos that we watch and keep listening, uh, uh, keep keep getting closer to God. Because you, that's another thing we need to be doing. Keep getting closer to God every day. As we keep doing all that, we're supposed to get better and better. Better and better. No, I, I'm not. I say we're supposed mm. to be. We gonna get better You're and better. Going to. Yeah, we are gonna get better and better. Yeah, anyway. guys. Mm. So as we close, if you're married, if mm. you dating, thinking about getting married, you know, don't push your significant other or spouse. You can't change them. Okay. Yeah, change we yourself. all know that you can't change them. Change yourself. Mm. Bring value to yourself. Then you can be able to influence this person. Yeah. But you can't sit here and tell me what I need to do when you in the same boat as me. Sorry, we yeah. somebody gotta get out the boat. Yeah, somebody. Yeah. We can't be in the boat and both drown, and then you trying to point the finger where you should have did this. Why you didn't get out the boat? Yeah, and did something. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you know, you know, another thing. Yeah. Before before we go, and we're gonna close it out. out there, <laughs> I know, I know, you'll get out there with some more. No, my throat burning. Uh, so um, good. it's <clears throat> you can't you can't keep pointing the finger, pointing the finger, pointing the finger. We had a, a young couple that came by the house one night to get some uh, um, to get some counseling, and all they was doing was pointing the finger the whole time. Mm -hmm. You cannot keep pointing the finger, pointing the finger, pointing. The, work on yourself first. I'm gonna keep saying that over and over again. Work on yourself first. Then another person gonna come along. Mm -hmm. They gonna come along. It's that. It's it's almost impossible for them to stay the same. They see you getting better. It's almost impossible. So if you getting better, they gonna come right on along, and y'all gonna ride out that. Y'all gonna ride that out. But again, but, but again, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we're on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Check us out. Okay? Yeah, guys. Drop a heart. If you watch this video. To the end. Hell, if you just watch the video. No, okay? They're they not, they they not going to see this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To the end. Yeah. Wow, you're right. Yeah. They, drop you a heart end, in the comments. Mm -hmm. Show us some love, guys. We we Sometimes we need love. And, and if, if you're a man and you don't want to drop a heart, drop, a drop, muscle. The, drop that muscle emoji down there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or something. Some kind of emoji down there. Some, drop a muscle emoji if you're a man, a heart if you're a woman. Show yeah. us some love because sometimes, you know, it's still a test. Yeah. And but we still have to show up because it's his purpose. It's what we surrender our life to. Yeah. And it's God's way. He's I the said, director. I said I wasn't gonna let her talk no more. I'm sorry, but he's the director <laughs> of our life, so we show up even when we don't feel like exactly, it. Okay. Exactly. Now, bam, baby, take us home. God is good. Yes. Life is good. When we look good, we feel good. We live the life of abundance. Peace. <laughs>